So before we start writing drivers or kernel modules, it is very important that we prepare our host and target platforms. In this course, we'll be using a host as our computer, a computer running the latest version of Ubuntu, preferably Ubuntu 64-bit uh, uh, you can use, or you can also use 32-bit, no problem. I'll be using Ubuntu 18.04 64-bit version. All these exercises, all the code compilations, everything we are going to do it on the Ubuntu machine. If you are using Windows or Mac, then you can use virtual machine uh, to install the Ubuntu operating system. And the target is the BeagleBone Black Revision A5 port. And uh, this is the same port what we used for our earlier codes as well. But if you are using other boards such as uh, BeagleBone AI or BeagleBone Wireless, then you can use uh, those boards. But please note that the code exercises, the kernel modules, what we write, are not thoroughly tested on those boards. So, but you will learn lots of concepts, and by doing some minor changes, you can run these exercises on those boards as well. So, you can use uh, those boards. Now, first, let's take care of our host. We have to install some packages on the host, otherwise, we may face you know, compilation issues and other weird issues uh, while running commands. Open your uh, Ubuntu command prompt and uh, run the commands sudo apt get update. And after that, you have to uh, run these commands. Don't type these commands. So I have attached a text file with this video. Download that. That I have mentioned this command. Just copy paste that command on your command prompt. Let's do this. Let's go to the command prompt and let's type sudo apt get update that's it and after that copy this command and paste it and hit enter it now asking your permission to continue so just type yes that's it some of the packages are already installed on my host that's why it uh, didn't take much time but in your case it would take uh, one or two minutes after that now let's do some workspace setup so you may follow the below folder setup to work with this course let's create some empty folders in order to work with various packages and downloads and other kernel modules what we're going to write in this course Go to your home directory and create a folder called workspace and under that create another folder called ldd uh, which stands for linux device driver under ldd you create some more folders like custom drivers downloads patches and source whatever the source we are going to download like linux source or uboot source something like that we are going to keep that in source folder if you get any patches then we are going to keep that in patches folder and if we download anything any third-party software like root file system and other things we are going to keep that in downloads like tool chain and all we can keep in downloads and whatever the custom drivers you are going to write in this course you are going to keep that in custom drivers folder I mean this is not a strict requirement for this course but I would suggest you to follow this uh, folder settings let me go back to the command prompt and here I have created a workspace under my home directory and I'm going to create one more folder LDD after that let's go inside LDD here you have to create some more folders let's hit enter that's it and now let's move forward so now we have to download the boot images and the root file system why it is required in this course we are going to boot our board that is BeagleBone Black uh, via the SD card the micro SD card so to boot the board we need boot images as well as root file system 
first we are going to boot using the free built images and after that we are going to update the kernel by cross compiling the kernel source which we are going to uh, clone from the BeagleBone repository. That's why we are going to partition our micro SD card into two. The partition one holds uh, boot images like MLO, U-boot and the kernel image and its file system type will be FAT16. After that, the partition 2 holds the Debian root file system. We have to download the root file system as well. So the file system type of partition 2 could be ext3 or ext4. In this video, I have also attached another file called prebuilt images. Please download that and keep that file in your workspace under downloads. Under workspace, LDD and downloads, prebuilt images. And after that, just extract it. Right click and you can use extract here. Under this folder, you get uh, another folder called SD boot and it has uh, pre built images. Let's not touch this, we'll cover this later. Now, let's get back to the PPT. Let's move forward. Now, you have to download the root file system. Download the boot images file attached with this video. We did that, and now visit this link and download the latest. Debian image for BeagleBone Black. So just search for BeagleBone and head over to BeagleBone.org. And here uh, go to Start and go to Latest Software Images. From here you have to download the latest Debian images. At the time of recording this video, the latest one is Debian. 9.9 .9. you should download the one which is suitable for your board so if you are using beagle bone then you should be downloading this debian 9.9 sdiot this is the image for a pocket beagle beagle bone beagle bone black and wireless and for so many other boards so just download this and place it into your download folder let me click this and the download starts.